Hey guys, it's me Larry and welcome back to my channel. And today we are cooking mango sticky rice. So before we get started, as always, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below and click the notification bell so you get updated with my US vlogs every week. So it has been a long time since I last posted in my YouTube channel, but today I am back and going to teach you how to cook mango sticky rice. So mango sticky rice is a popular dessert in Thailand which is very known for its sweet and sticky texture. It is quite similar to suman, a Filipino delicacy which also uses glutinous rice to make some sweet dessert. Some of my friends have requested a video on how to make mango sticky rice and here is my take and recipe for it. So let's get started. Here are the ingredients that you'll be needing. You'll need 1 half cup of white sugar, 2 cups of glutinous or sticky rice. Make sure that it is short green and also sticky. You also need sesame seeds, 3 fourths tablespoon of cornstarch, 1 fourth teaspoon of salt, 400 milliliters of coconut milk, and 2 ripe mangoes. I suggest that you put your mangoes in the refrigerator so that it will be cold once we cook our sticky rice. Our first step is to wash the glutinous rice. So put your rice in a pot or in a bowl and wash it with warm water to remove extra starch on the rice. Mix that a bit and drain the water. Afterwards, add 1 cup of water, 100 milliliters of your coconut milk, and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Mix that together and place it in the rice cooker or cook it on the stove for around 20 minutes. While your rice is cooking, we'll move on to make our coconut milk and coconut milk sauce. In a small pot with medium heat, add 300 milliliters of your coconut milk and the rest of your sugar, and also your salt. Mix it together until it lightly boils. Afterwards, put two-thirds of the coconut milk mixture aside and let it cool. Then prepare your cornstarch mixture by mixing 1 tablespoon of water to your cornstarch. Then add the cornstarch mixture to the remaining coconut milk inside the pot. Let it heat up until the sauce becomes thicker around 1 to 3 minutes and put it aside to let it cool. When your rice is ready, let it cool for another 10 minutes. Make sure that the lid is open so that the steam will come out. And then, put your rice into another bowl. Afterwards, add the coconut milk mixture and mix it making sure that the rice is well covered. Let it rest for around 10 minutes to allow the rice to absorb the coconut milk. While that's resting, let's cut up our mangoes. So cut your mangoes into long chunks. What I'm doing is I cut the mango lengthwise into thirds so that the seed will not get in your way. Then. You peel the mango using a spoon and cut the fruit diagonally in long chunks. For this recipe, you will need around 2 mangoes depending on how much mangoes you want on your sticky rice. When you're finished with your mangoes, go back to your rice and sprinkle some sesame seeds on top of it to give it a little crunch. Then mix that up one last time and then get ready to plate it. For my plating, I'll be using a wooden bowl just for aesthetic purposes, but you can use any plate or bowl that you like. Place your rice first on your plate and flatten them down so that the rice will clump together better. Then put your cut mangoes on top. Make sure most of the rice is covered by the mangoes to have a good rice mango ratio. Then for your garnish, pour in your coconut milk sauce on top and sprinkle some more sesame seeds for extra crunch. And that's how you make mango sticky rice and get ready for the b-roll! And 
there you have it. This is our mango sticky rice. So let's have a little taste. So this is our spoon. You can see the mango and some rice and some of the sauce. Have a taste. Mmm. The sticky rice is really spot on. It's like your suman. It's very sweet. And the mango really complements it very well. And also the sesame seeds give it a little crunch. I would rate it a 10 out of 10 and it's really good for your after dinner dessert. So thank you guys for watching and if you have any suggestions on what other future cooking vlogs I should do, put it down in the comments below. So see you guys in the next vlog but for now, bye!